I'm sorry. sorry. No problem. It's all right. What about the arc we wrote? Did you forget something? No. What are you doing here? I live here, right up there. I, uh, I moved in yesterday. Sorry I kept you waiting. What do you want to talk to me about? What the hell do you think? You're going to move into that apartment? Yeah. What's the big deal? Well, for one thing, that's where Reed ha David Stenbeck lived. For another thing, it's too close to me. Look, if you're worried about running into me... That's exactly what I'm worried about. Relax, okay? And you don't need to send your mother or brother over here again to tell me to keep my distance. I'll do it all on my own. Why do you keep making things so hard on yourself? How am I doing that? Well, now that David, or should I say Reed, David, Reed, David, now that he's in jail, what are you going to do? Are you going to come back and try to get me? I'm doing this. I'm doing this because I had to get out of Carly's hair, and I saw the landlord yesterday cleaning the place out, so I jumped on it. But it doesn't have anything to do with you, and it certainly doesn't have anything to do with David. Right. Fine. Don't blame me, Andy. But I signed the lease, so deal with it. That's really sick. That is really sick. Why are you so ticked off, Andy? And if you're really over me as you say you are, what do you care where I live? We were just talking about you, you, actually. You had the same letter that I got. Yeah. Did you uh, see the photograph of her? Yeah, yeah, I got one, too. She's beautiful, <laughs> isn't know, she? I know, she is. No, I think she has your smile. I do. I don't know. I see this one. Oh, God. Holden, so what do you, what do you think? Well, Lily and I were just talking about this. I'm inclined to give Mrs. Williams permission to tell Abigail about me. How do you feel about it? Terrified. But, but I'm all for it, too. So, oh, Holden, uh, can you think of anything more exciting than finally getting to know our little girl? <laughs> I guess we're in agreement, then. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna call her right now. Wait. What? I thought we were in agreement. We were in agreement that Abigail should make the next move. Look, I know you're anxious to make contact with her, I, but... I'm not gonna force her to see me. I just thought we could talk. Mrs. Williams said Abigail has just begun asking questions. I don't think a call from her birth mother out of the blue is the smartest thing to do. Well, fine. Then we'll just call Mrs. Williams. And what if Abigail answers the phone? And here's enough of her mom's conversation on that end of the telephone to put things together. I guess you're right. It was a really dumb idea. It... What if... What if Abigail never wants to meet me? Or even worse, what if she, what if she does want to meet me? What if Abigail hates me? I hate to say this, but it could be true. I think you have to be prepared for anything. So we're on the same page here. Mrs. Williams calls the shots. We'll respond to her the way that she wanted, through her private P.O. box. Yeah. And maybe it's for the best. <laughs> my life's such a mess right now. It'll give me time to get my life, my act together. You know, if and when she does want to meet us, I want her to like me. I don't want her to think I'm some loser. <laughs> 